Hey everyone, I'm Matei Lorette, a historical costumer and creative sewist. Now, today I will be talking about what do the pilgrims actually wear, and I will also be revealing what my next project will be in this video. They kind of coincide together. First of all, there are a lot of myths on what the pilgrims actually wore, and if you go to your local Halloween costume store, they're probably going to show that they wore black and white. Well, I will say this is a huge myth. That is not true. The pilgrims did not wear black. They wore lots of colors. You're talking yellows and reds and purples and lots of colors. They were very colorful people in that way. The reason why they did not wear black is because black material was very expensive because the process to dye the fabric was very expensive. And so they wore lots of other colors. So as a result, black was actually considered a very special occasion type of clothing. So it would be like today where we wear tuxedos. People don't wear tuxedos to the grocery store or even to Thanksgiving dinners, right? They did not wear black. Um, if they did, it was ver to very special occasions. And if you do see a painting of someone from that era being painted in black, it's probably because they were wearing their best for a photo. Because if you think about it, they didn't have pictures and cameras like we did. So when they had their pictures painted or their portrait painted, they would actually dress in their best. And it was like a big deal that they were actually getting their portrait taken. Second myth is about the buckles as well. They did not wear buckles. Buckles did exist, however, that was for the very wealthy people. Buckles were very hard to come by. It was a sign that you were a wealthy person, and the pilgrims, as we all know, were not wealthy. So moving on to my actual project reveal. I'm going to make something that the pilgrims would have worn, and I'm going to use lots of color. I'm going to experiment with color. So those of you out there who are seriously period correct, I totally respect the fact that you are going to think that I'm actually butchering up this outfit in attempt to try to display what the pilgrims actually wore because that is actually what I'm going to do is I'm in some ways going to butcher it but not so much to where it doesn't look like it came from the era. I may be using materials that are not exactly on point. So I won't be using 100% linen. I'm actually using some fabrics that are heavier weight like the heavyweight linen that they use. It looks very similar. It may not be the exact colors that they use because the dyes may not be on point with the materials that they had to dye fabric. But I am taking the general principle of it being very colorful and lively and beautiful, but I will be using the correct patterns. I will actually be making a corset as well, because to have the correct look, you have to have the correct undergarments. So I actually do not have my materials to make this dress yet. So I have to head to the fabric store, the outlet store that I actually visited before, link below in that shopping trip. So I will be visiting my friends over there to see if I can find some different color combinations and maybe they can give me a few pointers, but it's pretty much fun over there. So I'm about to head out to there and I will see you when I get there. All right, so we're here and I'm going to head inside. So yeah, I'm a little bit in a predicament of what color scheme I want to do because I like coral, but I'm, I've done a lot of obsessive projects with coral. So um, yeah. Okay, so this is where all their linens lightweight and heavy linens are so i think i'm going to take advantage of all of the bright colors that come with pilgrim's outfit so there are several different color palettes on pinterest i thought i would match and i might go off from what's period correct but at least kind of play off the idea that it's colorful these look like good so i think i'm tempted to ignore all of the color palettes that I just looked at and go for this lavender-ish type plum color and mix it with this red over here or with this. That might be too close in color here, but I feel like that really sets these two off. There's also this option. I have some of this at home, but I would need to buy a decent amount more to make it work. Might be kind of an interesting combo picked up a swatch and I'm going to head to the natural light to see how it looks. I think I really like that color combination. Let me just go with that. not to make you feel awkward. <laughs> And I 
actually have all of my materials that I need. I went with this corally, warm corally color, and then I went with this purpley lavender. I'm not a huge lavender fan or purple fan, but I actually like these combos together. I feel like they really set each other off. So, if you would like to see the rest of this project and how I make the corset and the dress, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you next time. I am the Taylorette, a historical costumer and creative seamstress, and I hope that I get to say things, okay. <coughs> um...